clap at the same time that I clap. Oh shit. One, two, three, and we're live. Oh, is this the recording? We're not going to use Gar Oh, I see. Nah, we're recording. Ah, okie dokie. Nifty. Hello everyone, and welcome to the Always Reading Podcast, episode number 13. Live to you from the Needle Nook in Highgate. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Free marketing. We've got hey. a big group here, but I think technically on the podcast we have Peter. Hello. Uh, we got, got Damo. G'day. And we got Jesse. Hello. And, and Luke. And yours truly, Luke. Hello. <laughs> yeah, that's Luke on the <laughs> <laughs> I think today we're going to be talking about Damo's experiences with Dota. Oh. And probably just everyone's experiences with Dota. Yeah. <laughs> oh. um, we want to talk about a bit of a throwback to our other episode about Sesame Credits. Talking about loans, uh, sort of, I don't know if that's secured by, but related to opening up your social media accounts to lenders. Hmm. And we had another topic. What was the other topic? Peter, shoot. Oh, God, I don't know nothing. But. Excellent. That's our third yeah, topic that's... of the day. Man, we're never that Welcome to Always Running Podcast, <laughs> episode 13. <laughs> God, no. Um, no, I'm what's like... the other topic? I'll look it up. Not I had no idea. First, uh, I wasn't really paying attention. I just assumed you knew what was happening. So I was like, whatever. I'll run along with this. Recent movies. Yeah. It, it, I was like, wow, this is this is my week off. I don't need to uh, come up with some topics here. <laughs> no pressure. And I, I've I've taken a full full gone. I'm like, no, nah, we're out of here. We're done. Yeah. So let's start um, off with Dota. Video editing, I think, was the other one. Or yes. One. Yeah, no, the that's two, the I thing. Our experience is editing our videos. Oh yeah. There that's, you go. That's For totally our suddenly weird. booming YouTube channel. Right. YouTube.com slash Labrie. <laughs> Plug it. Is it slash Labrie? Yeah, it's still slash Labrie. Yeah, we can't change we it until we get 10,000 views. So we, we just want right. us to change we need, it. No, we need, we need 100 subscribers. It's 100 oh. subscribers. So wow. if right. you want to do us a favor, we'll change it to accounts. Dingo Bongo Productions if you give us 100 subscribers. So basically we need 90 more people to hit that subscribe button. And, uh, I don't even think I'm subscribed to our YouTube channel. Oh, we'll so. get on that. Well, We've seen if you don't get subscribers in the last couple of days. Oh, that's <laughs> from fourteen to ten. That's all right. You know, we never get we never get pushed down. We always get back up again. Yeah, <laughs> we get. That's our motto we here. It. <laughs> Dingo we get okay. knocked down, but we get up again. <laughs> um, mm. Let's so, do other things. Yeah, we recently introduced Demo to Dota. Oh. Me and Peter have been playing for a long time. Cool. Jesse for quite a long time as well. But yeah. it was Demo's first ever game. <laughs> Three days ago now? So we gave him about 15 minutes in a um, bot game to just warm <laughs> yeah. up. And then we threw him straight into a multiplayer game. To the walls. Yeah. Um, to the deep end, yeah. Um, <laughs> and results were varied. <laughs> no, they were not varied. They were conclusively <laughs> awful. Consistently yeah, it was, horrendous. It was like teaching Demo to swim in a tsunami. It just doesn't quite work. <laughs> yeah, and it was, yeah, it was bad. It was like the laning phase and then we got you... Oh. We actually got you quite a hard hero. Like Jakira isn't Jakira isn't the easiest first. Oh come on! I was told it was a good starting hero. Yeah, the I, only I think it's a decent start. It. it is a decent oh, start. Oh, it's just oh, that getting that ice path in the right place and I yeah, so I guess landing a non-secured stun is quite difficult. But yeah. the other things are fairly straightforward. Oh, but when you don't even really understand what <laughs> the, the, the button controls yeah. even are, like even when you don't know what the buttons do. Yeah, yeah. were you using the were you clicking on the thing or were you using? No, the I was using the QWR? QWR. Oh, I, yeah. Oh, that's impressive. I, I found yeah. it intu- I, like I found it relatively intuitive. I mean, I've played similar games before. I found it yeah. quite similar to like Diablo and stuff. In a I guess way. so. In terms I'm, of I'm, some of the yeah. control mechanics. I mean, I've never played like World of Warcraft or anything like that. But yeah, or it was originally kind of based off Warcraft Three. Yeah, yeah so, that's like, right. And so, but like, I mean, I found I found the basic mechanics like intuitive enough, but just the gameplay and like I don't know, obviously don't have any game sense. Because it was like literally yeah. like yeah. ten minutes against bots, and then oh, we're gonna play against people who are just gonna absolutely ruin us. <laughs> yeah. And then I just kept dying and dying. You weren't actually that bad, really, in your first game. It was quite impressive, actually, to be honest. Like, oh, it, was, you it could have been worse. Yeah. But it was. It was... I uh, and then I went and complained <laughs> to everyone for the next twenty four hours what a terrible game Dota is and how I hate <laughs> it and I'd never any fun. It was like the worst thing ever. And then the very next night we played again. So <laughs> is it better? Yeah. Says that says a lot about my personality. You're wrong. Um, it was better. I like. I can definitely see myself getting into it as long as I sort of learn a little bit. You'll improve like exponentially. I think like it's amazing in the first two weeks of playing Dota. I think you like. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You learn so much. Yeah. Well, that's it. I mean, like, I'm totally down to play a bit more and, and learn a bit more. Like the next night when we just played against bots again, and I had someone just sort of 
I had Peter just basically sit with me the whole time and go, go here, go there, do this, do that. All right, I'm going to set you up here. You're going to, like, use this power at this time. Yeah, which is much, like, much gentler. Yeah, so I could see, definitely see myself, how to actually play the game. <laughs> yeah, I could definitely see myself getting into it, and I do want to play a little bit more, but I want to mix it up with um, with the old CSGO because yeah. it's still my baby. It's and I've, I've realised recently I've spent like 400 US in that game. In my oh, really? Yeah, Steam, <laughs> yeah, Steam was kind enough to tell me that, and I was like, I didn't want to know. Really? But, they gave you a summary? I, I don't even know why. I, I it popped up somehow, it. and I was like, oh man, now I just feel terrible. I should have just put it on. That's the trade card. That's the trade card. And you're like, well, Peter. I'm going to CSGO badge now. You <laughs> CSGO badge? Just say that again, Peter. Oh, it's like, um, because every I don't know ten dollars you spend in Steam, I think you get a little badge thing that's worth like five cents or something. The trading oh, really? like a little trading card, and then you can use those to make a little badge thing. Yeah. And then you can prove your dedication to CS:GO, or you could just buy them outright. I mean, that's the other option too. True that. Well, I'm just keen. To, I'm just. I'm ten levels away from getting my service medal for 2018, so I feel like I'm ahead oh, of the wow. game. Oh, that's good. Wow, that's fast. Um, I got no but idea. That's just because I like had a lot of levels from the end of last year. Yeah. I saw a thing recently which was breaking down the number of hours it would take you to actually get the like highest service medal in CS:GO. Oh, okay. So this no, is going off track. No, it's no, no. I'm intrigued. Um, I have no idea what. And it, it takes like something like twenty. Someone worked out that sort of the fast you can do it is still about 21 hours a day if you want to get the top, get the top level, level service medal. For what, for a yeah. year? Yeah, because you have to get, yeah, the, but it's you like, have, you have get the prestige at level 40. Yeah, six times. And someone did the maths and worked out that like the fastest way to do it is through arms race, funnily enough. Okay, mm -hmm. just for points per Yeah, just thing. in terms of the amount yeah. of points you get and stuff. Um, like points per minute or whatever, and yeah, and it was like it takes something like twenty two hours a day to do it. That's like not and that's not including loading times as well. <laughs> so if yeah. you include loading times in that, you're probably looking at more than twenty four hours in a day yeah, to get the top level. Cool. It's just stupid. Like most people, so it's, it's just unattainable, yeah, most people don't get more than like the third level, like the third yeah. tier thing. Yeah, but that's just ridiculous. Yeah. I guess you might get one or two people who just have played. Yeah. Or you might get a really like you could imagine getting like people tag team it like the thirtieth of yeah, December true. getting to like level thirty eight on the first one yeah and then the first of January yeah. getting to forty and then starting from of course there. but even then twenty two hours a day yeah that's you might bring it down impossible. to seventeen hours or something a day if you do that so um, yeah. anyway back to uh, back to Dota um, <laughs> yeah. no it was good like it was good I think to get another game that we could play. Uh, as a team, like well, a yeah, sort of game. team competitive. Yeah. Because we've been trying to look recently, especially with the Steam sale, at um, mm. at getting a few more games that we can sort of you know play together or against each other. It's a punishing game. It's really punishing. Like I've yeah. I've played nine hundred hours. I'm like ashamed to admit nine hundred oh, is God. like. But then I'm, I took about six months off, and I'm still at the level basically where you are, just <laughs> with like maybe you'd be about what the same as me with a week in, um, you know. But and the yeah. worst thing I think about it is the fact that you like. You see the result coming for so long, and you just have to like push through <laughs> until the end. Yeah. Like, there's there's very little scope for comebacks. I can see that. Um, mm. at the, and this in this iteration of the game, I think yeah, definitely. Like, mm. there's not really much yeah. you can do if you've just let someone roll away. You know, As I mean, it kind of depends on the team you verse though. Like, if if you actually like high skill level games and stuff, they don't extend that game where. Like, for us, say, it takes 40 minutes because it takes them 20 minutes to actually get it to and finish it. Whereas those that are actually a bit better at the game are like, well, we're going to take this objective now and we're going to end it and the game's over yeah. in 22 minutes or whatever. And you're yeah. like, well, that's it, right? You don't spend 10 minutes knowing your impending deaths occurring. Mm. Yeah, the higher level, they know their strength. That and was they just know frustrating. When they can push and finish it. Whereas, I just got another thing is it gives you a chance to actually do come back, though, if they like. Because if they stuff it up, right, there's always that chance where if, you, yeah. if they start screwing up a bit, they get a bit cocky and. I don't know, for some reason you just had a bad start and you're like, focus now, this is this is my time. Or you got yeah. a solid defense or something, then, uh, you know, yeah, you sure. can't come An back. Opportunity. But, mm. um, but yeah. yeah, so, who knows. But, yeah. Um, so, yeah, in short, it was a very frustrating experience and I said I was never going to play Dota again and I had broken that promise <laughs> to myself within about 12 hours. So. <laughs> it's a bit addictive as well. Like, you do go, oh, that's horrible, but then mm. you like... Yeah, that was so bad, but I just have to win one. Yeah. I do like mechanics and the fact it's got quite a range, I can see, of, of heroes and stuff. But Perfect. I feel I feel like I'm very unqualified to speak about this thing as my total gameplay is about 90 minutes on it now. So <laughs> Yeah, but I think that's why your insight's so interesting. Yeah, <laughs> it is interesting. Like, we were, with we, Virgin Eyes. When we learned to play, we, we, we learned to play with really nobody who was very, very proficient. At, or Like, we mm. learned to play on our own and we just played, like, 
maybe a month of bot games. I remember playing yeah. so many bot games in the start. Like it must have been maybe about forty or fifty hours worth of bot games that we played at the beginning of the. Yeah, game. I mean, I played I, like three months before I realized Jesse played Dota. Yeah, yeah. And, yeah. and I also like I brought it for myself because you guys were like pretty content to play bot games. I was like, nah, if we're gonna do this, like, yeah, yeah. Let's just, just do it. Let's just, just go much, Yeah, I just much rather <laughs> play against people than bots. Like, yeah, yeah. because. Um, yeah. I find it really hard to play seriously against bots. Yeah. Because you're always like, it's not even a person. I'm and just going to see what they do. I'll just run up to them and run around you them. You can muck around with them because they, they they have a set of scripts that they, 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 like, you do something, they do something, you do something, they do mm. something. So it's, it's funny to see what they do. Yeah. Um, but no, I don't know. I find it really interesting because, like, when we started, I remember on, on my first multiplayer game, I remember it really, really distinctly with, like, you and Tim, mm. Luke. And then it was like fine it was actually really easy we won the game because we were expecting them to be at such a higher level to us but we scrimmed basically against a proficient bot for like yeah whereas months. i guess entry level humans are not very good yeah, yeah so we got into a really low level with other people who hadn't played any multiplayer or any bot game versus the demo beat them and yeah that was as well we had we had to play an unranked game what do i need to do to get to to sort of play ranked games so i actually have it's like fair fights in my hands level 20 i think is it yeah yeah, like, that yeah i think it's level 20 like yeah, a couple of hours <laughs> away, but it's not as I, as I said to you I guess at the start it's not a I mean apart from the matchmaking it's not like Counter-Strike where there's a substantial difference between the actual game you're playing like it's no, still exactly the, like the there same is a game. hidden yeah. unranked system like there is a hidden rank for you so. yeah but like you know how we're playing the like unranked thing or whatever mm. like I was just saying the two like at least two of those play, people were playing against who played as Zeus and my, my already I have a least favourite hero to play against and that's bloody Juggernaut because <laughs> I've played uh, three games and I've come up against a Juggernaut every time and just mm. get that stupid like cyclone move that just kills me like <laughs> five times a game <sighs> <sighs> I'm getting tilted just thinking once, about yeah, it once you, yeah, you, you can learn to avoid that no you bloody can't and, and, then, the Zeus, and then the Zeus would just like come no. out of nowhere I'd be like I'd just be like strolling through the forest it just like <laughs> materialize in a ball of lightning and like electrocute me and then juggernaut would just like swing around like a little stupid helicopter like out of the trees and just chop me up and i was like God. this is bullshit i'm getting so just you, thinking about yeah. it you're gonna hate storm you're spirit angry team against me. <laughs> um that's why i want to play as juggernaut now i'm going with it if you can't beat him join him yeah there are a few like viper that's a, that's is a, pretty... a really good um early carry like someone who you can learn to play get the mechanics of Dota, but also ha have a bit of punch and a bit of, like... If mm, who's that? Viper. Viper. Oh, yeah, yeah. Like, he's, something he's tanky like, and easy. Yeah, exactly. And we can probably make a team around you, Dane, like, if you want to play Viper. And we uh, can yes, I do want to be the head honcho <laughs> when I know nothing about the game. That sounds genius. Um, <laughs> just stick your mid. I do, like, I do like the tactic, though, of if you if you don't like something, you play as it, because that way, you when you get wrecked as that character, you're like, now why am I getting wrecked? It's because they're doing this stuff. And then I can do that. Yeah, and then least you, you know do that stuff doing. to them, right? <laughs> yeah. Well, I don't really know. I just yeah, know he exactly. just does this one stupid cyclone move and kills me Yeah, you just kills know he kills time. you. He just yeah. spins around a bit. And then I just can't run away. Your I, don't, I, don't, I don't know how to buy items and stuff. I don't get how to, like, what items I should be buying. Yeah. And when I should be using them and how I should be using them. That's the, I need, like, I have completely like any sort of game. Well, that's where you just need to. Yeah, yeah. It's, that's why Dota's so hard because you have like 150 heroes or something like that, and then you have like over a hundred, a few hundred items, right, mm. that you can buy and craft, and yeah, you have to learn what all of them do, and yeah. you know, and like then how to use them, like mm. that staff where you can like fly away or whatever and then even when i bought the stuff he was like yeah like now you can escape if someone tries to stun you and stuff and then i just kept getting stunned and dying because i was like <laughs> yeah, oh wait like, that's right i've got that item press i can use this yeah. Yeah. Go whoosh, but. yeah i mean Ugh. i think my experience of dota or the way i play it is like it's almost like i'm like clinging to the side of a cliff in a storm it's like i've only got a few heroes that i play a lot and i know how to build their like uh, how to get good build to them mm. and i just use them all the time and yeah. it's like i have about maybe 15 heroes that i can play yeah and that's all i use and i, I like that's really just how i do it <laughs> just uh, to get through the games because yeah. it's like if you were just playing something random i couldn't i don't know how i would be able to do it well that's the thing i mean everyone is random because i know literally nothing about yeah. any of them i mean i, I didn't mind playing as lena she's got awful catchphrases <laughs> but um <laughs> but the, that, best. Like, the powers are okay so but no, so I'm keen to sort of pick it up and learn a bit more. 
Um, I do wish we'd, we'd uh, recorded that first game that I played just so we could hear how tilted I got and then how tilted everyone got because yeah, I was tilted. and then come back to it in a year's time. No, it, it wasn't because, like, I think that just happens because everybody gets tilted. It's just like, like a, a game where everyone's losing. But especially me shit. because I was just like, I don't know what's going on. This is bullshit. This is the worst game ever mm. and I just keep dying. And then, like, I'm just doing my own thing and then someone just pops out of nowhere and kills me again. Yeah, you'll get a sense of where it's appropriate to fight and where it's appropriate to run. I think that's that's what like separates like a rank beginner from like an intermediate player. Like, just not throwing yourself into really stupid fights or just not being yeah. in a really stupid position um, all the time. Because that I've definitely felt like my first like fucking two hundred hours were like me just being in the wrong place at the wrong time and just dying. Yeah, it's unfortunate. Yeah. Anyway. Oh well. Yeah. Mm. Um. What's next? Should we move on? Yeah, moving on. We we're going to talk about the, um, I can't even remember what the woman's name was now. It was the, the main concept for the discussion point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did you get the, the, um, you have the piece yeah, of printed off, did you? Beans. I did. I think I printed it and left it at home. Oh, it's okay. fine. The details aren't specific and I probably don't really want to mention her name anyway. She doesn't need any more publicity than this <laughs> random article gave her. Um, yeah, it was just to do with how... Jackie Lamont. Jackie <laughs> Lamont. Jackie um, Bambi? Uh, so, she is prepared to let a business trawl through her social media accounts so she could get access to... A potentially handy financial product. Um, so, in case of handing over a rental bond, this lady let a company access her social media account to gauge her risk, and then she paid the company $250 for the company to handle the bond. So the company pays eighteen hundred dollars to the to the the lessor, and then they yeah, receive two hundred and fifty dollars from who's Jackie. The place out to, on to old mate JJ JL JL, so that she could get um yes yeah, so if they if, yeah so she could get a cheaper bond basically yeah so basically um, by opening up her social media accounts and so showing that she was I guess like a good trustworthy person is the idea the yeah. um. Yeah, she didn't have to pay the full bond. It's kind of the way the, the article slung it, at least. Hmm, interesting. Oh, okay. Yeah, I just thought it had an interesting connection point to our uh, discussion of Sesame Credits. Yeah, it is. It's kind of like the whole, you know, if you kind of lose your privacy and whatnot, it's like a whole lot of um, mm. things related to that. You know, it's like, how much is your privacy worth? Yeah, exactly. How much are you willing to trade it for? Yeah. Um, and we... Um, we looked through this, we looked through a few other articles, and there was a kind of a 2014 article which brought up um, uh, MasterCard has been accessing public f uh, social media accounts since 2015, and mm. they've been packaging them up and then selling them to banks. <laughs> so they've been doing the, this... The data, basically. The data. Yeah. They've been doing this since 2015 to help target sales. Yeah. But it's it's like a step further from that to now you have to consent, but they can access the social media account. I wonder how they do it. I wonder if they get, you have to give them your like email and password. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I guess the interesting thing is it doesn't necessarily sound like they need... I would have thought they'd just... They don't need to get just... in there and post things. They no. just want to look at what you've posted. Just yeah. so yeah. it's just to befriend someone who's... Like, yeah. like, I mean, if it's public, yeah. then That's it. it's, they're only looking at public accounts then, aren't they? Isn't that what they're saying? Um, not, yeah. not their yeah. I presume maybe if it's... I mean, no, no, I think... If it's private, you'd have to let them in. Say your Instagram account is private. I think you probably have to consent to them doing whatever they're going to do because it feels a bit more invasive than just collecting your like metadata you know yeah. it's like your specific risk factor mm. but i guess it's yeah it's just identifying for them which accounts are your accounts yeah say your instagram your facebook your twitter and then they i guess some sort of financial expert looks through your social media accounts and says do i think this person's likely to repay it's probably just um is that a bot it probably just takes your like your workplace, your address, just hundreds of variables like that. It's, I, no one's yeah, looking through it and be. going, I think she should get it. Yes, I think she's risk because that's just taking too much onus on the person. It takes too much time. I guess so, but I mean, it sounds like it's a fairly yeah. niche financial product. Yeah. So but you I, can imagine like one person, Yeah. you know, like a loans officer who's sitting there being like... Yeah, but then to receive $250 for doing that, that means you have to, the guy has mm, to take true. less than half an hour on a, each... Yeah, yeah, that's money. true. To make to break even on it, like that means yeah, mm. to make to make his wage plus the wage that he's charging, like to make to make any mm. money, he has to be like doing a lot every hour, which means that it's probably not very. Uh, <laughs> it yeah. must just be an algorithm they use, right? Yeah, who knows? I guess we don't I really mean, know. The Maybe we should get in touch with them and find mass, out. Mass people is to 
get algorithms and bots to sort through. Yeah. Get your categories. (laughs) Would you do it? It's hard to know without really knowing what it actually involves. I I don't think I would. I don't. I don't (laughs) like this. uh, I I I, 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 the slippery slope workers. (laughs) uh, Slippery slope arguments are um, uh, are normally pretty silly, but this one I'm just like, oh, it's 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 very skirting way too close to a baby step into into very invasive big brother. Yeah. Yeah, it'd be, nice. so, it'd be nice to have some privacy. That's always a nice thing. Just like that Black Mirror episode that we discussed in the in the Sesame Credits um, discussion a few podcasts back. It's, um, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't like the whole idea. It's very, uh, yeah, very like, worrying and dystopian future. How far? Are, are, like, what? It depends on what they're taking. Like, what sort of data are they collecting on you? And like, what? What are the variables that they're looking for? Like, what if they're looking for like. I don't know, your like socioeconomic status and they look mm. that's what they're looking for, they right? Be, really? Yeah. It's about what they're yeah. looking for. looking for that anyway though, right? They'd want to know that from even without you. Probably yeah, but I guess it's another like, do. If do they you want to know do you go out drinking on the weekend? Yeah. Do you mm. do you smoke marijuana? Do you have political views? Yeah. yeah. I don't care yeah. about yeah. that. But then it's like you could almost like maybe they could argue that they're taking like more sinister variables without like it's all if it's all in this kind of we're just taking your social media mm. it's like they can have like a really sinister variable and just hide it in there yeah things, Whereas, things that you wouldn't be allowed to ask a person about yeah i mean they can like, they're it's like actually have access to the or account they're like ethnic backgrounds mm. or they're like how much their parents even just own. people they talk to <laughs> yeah people yeah, they talk yeah. To, that yeah, yeah like, they yeah, can have a database true. that's probably more of a thing is like yeah, they could look true. through i like guess they're actually accessing the entire account they could look through well this person has regular conversations with i don't know luke and they chat yeah. about um venetian blinds and therefore oh, yeah good out. point so like messenger yeah. and stuff yeah like messenger and stuff that's mm. what the, that's what essentially yeah. they have access to that they wouldn't have otherwise right that's that's probably the biggest thing is messenger right yeah and things that are exclusive for like the privacy settings for friends but even then like that's kind of yeah. easier to access but it's, if you a personal account then it's probably like messenger and knowing that i don't know they really want to get some venetian blinds and suddenly you have your targeted advertising for the x company that pays your money to be like oh i think yeah. some sale on some blinds and i mean you know it's not inconceivable to think that maybe in a couple of years when you're getting your first home loan um you can only access a seven percent return or like a decent return if you give them your <laughs> social media um whereas otherwise they might you might have to pay a 12 percent or a 20 percent mm. interest rate on the bank loan you know so it's like it just cuts off a whole group of people who you know are unwilling to give away their social media um, yeah. access you know and maybe that's how they'll collect more intimate metadata on people and things yeah anyway interesting the only thing about that is what's to stop someone putting a making a second facebook account mm. a dummy <laughs> account I guess, yeah, yeah maybe just, the length of time that the account's been active for and stuff like that. And just that. one account is like, you know, you just have like random stuff on there to make it look like it's a real thing. Like you just have random conversations with a couple of people. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Whatever. And then, you know, you have your actual account where you, I don't know, put out your more out there political views and, I don't know, like crazier things. I don't, I don't know what people do that are overly Yeah, yeah you've got one but, Twitter you know, account you know where you're I mean? like, man, I just smoked a fat blunt while driving past the popo. Yeah, that's right. And then you've got the other yeah. one where you're like, geez, Sharon, boy, do I love repaying my loans. <laughs> man, um, have you seen this nice bottle of wine? Fiscal responsibility. <laughs> the second half of, the, half of this article is what you were talking about before about like social scoring um, mm. and a social score that is determined by an algorithm. So I assume it's an algorithm that just shifts through looking for like keywords from your social account. Have to be. Like, yeah, yeah. You're behind on your payments. They can't look through it personally, I don't think. Mm. Yeah, it would be interesting. It would be interesting to have the reverse and have them open it up and see what they're actually looking for. Mm. Well, I think that would be maybe something that we'd have to like push for in terms of like Mm. keeping this fair. Because if you want to do that, yeah, you know, if you want to do this, we need to know what you're looking for because we can't. Like the same thing with, uh, I guess, bringing it back to Counter Strike with the new Valve um, the trust factor, which is based on just your Steam score and all of your data from Valve's like from steam Network. oh so it's from all your different everything how many games you own how long you've had your account oh, okay. how many hours you play any in bans games on other games interesting to make like to make sure you're not just setting up like a smurf account that's only only csgo and has like yeah. two hours played so it's qualifies for you know you know yeah. make your second account after you've been banned for a week and next thing you know it's like oh this guy's a bit dodgy new yeah. account minimal hours but Go they've off. refused to release any any uh any that's just valve 
it's just completely just, like, just like and they're like we don't know we don't know because the algorithm we don't know what the algorithm's doing it's just doing it <laughs> yeah well we so, also don't really need to know whereas if you do know in that situation you can manipulate it yeah to sort of get quite a significant advantage out of it whereas yeah. in CSGO you can get some sort of advantage out of it but it's pretty limited yeah yeah yeah. Um, hmm. Well, there you go. It's a scary world. We've got shit. all of this. Like everyone's moving from like centralized things to more dispersed mm. finance, and then you've also got these social scores which are coming out. So you might find that like a banker will just say no to a loan because somebody has a bad social score, whereas yeah. the credit score, at least it's like it's based on past conduct. But a social score would now be based on your conduct in your all life, conduct. which yeah, is yeah, outside of the finance sphere. Yeah. You know. Um, just total accountability throughout all aspects of your life. Yeah, pretty weird. Yeah, kind of. Not really. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe yeah, it's no. fine. That's kind of weird. <laughs> I mean, yeah. I know my life's pretty boring, so I mean, <laughs> they'd be like, they'd look at my account and go, "Well, there's nothing to do with this guy. He is, he is plain. <laughs> He's plain clearly a be. shell. <laughs> yeah, he's a dummy account. He is a he is a dummy account. We'll yeah. give him the loan, but I don't know about this guy. Yeah. <laughs> he, seems, he seems too reliable. I will do exactly what he said he said he's, he's going to do. Yeah. Yeah. All right. All right. What else do we have to, to chat about? The video editing and Ready Player One, I think, was the other two. Yes. I put Ready head. Player One on the list, but I don't think anyone else is really going to be interested in talking no, about it. No, I haven't seen anyone it, else know so. anything about it at all? Not. No, I've just seen the ad for it. Yeah, it's such a shame. We should, have a, we should have a big session and then a debrief about the, the movie right. because it's going to be fucking amazing. All right. We can, uh, <laughs> we, we can do that right. one. We'll put it on the list for a future podcast, yes. perhaps. Along with along awesome. with the uh, regular updates about my Dota abilities and yeah, I think uh, that that can be a featured segment on here. <laughs> Demos, <laughs> dotes. Yeah, it's cool. We can have cool. YouTube series. It's happening. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that'd be great. Noob learns to play Dota two. <laughs> no, you need, you need more clickbaity titles. <laughs> um, way more clickbait needed. Uh, Logan Paul. He yeah. died in five seconds! Exclamation mark! Exclamation mark! Oh yeah! <laughs> I won't believe what happened next. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. To he came more. back because he was level one still, and like, <laughs> yeah. through a respawn timer. Twenty <laughs> deaths in two minutes! Insanity! Exclamation <laughs> mark! This guy died <laughs> twenty <laughs> times. <laughs> <laughs> Is he alive yeah. to this day? Uh, Worst Dota uh, player ever! <laughs> Yeah, oh, we should man. write these down. This, actually, this is a clickbait good. series I'm ready to make. This, this sounds Beautiful. fun. We'll, we'll right. be monetizing in no time. All we need to do is get rid of all the swearing. All the swearing and anything that might be construed as um, copyright material. <laughs> <laughs> blank out everything. Oh, no, oh, this blank what's the point of being fucking monetized if you can't fucking swear anyway? Hey? <laughs> hey. We need hey. to monetize to get that sweet, sweet business uh, NDM. Isn't that the plan? <laughs> That's true. We need to draw some income from this. <laughs> we probably should be. <laughs> What's up, everyone? Please give us dollars. Social scoring. Feel free to donate on our Patreon. <laughs> we'll send you Polaroids of our chests or something. Polaroids of whatever we find. That's a good idea. We'll have I'll do some lingerie shoots for you all. Would you? Would you? Would you do it? Oh, do it. Do it. <laughs> my arm. Do it for the vine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it sounds really they really twisted you. Oh, like I'm pretty reluctant, but oh, okay. But yeah, you know what? You know what? It's Yellow. worth it. It's worth it. Um. So video editing, hey? That's, yeah. uh, that's, that's quite a thing that, that some of us do. <laughs> yeah, you haven't really done much of that. <laughs> none <laughs> and none, none so far. Oh, but I have started recording with OBS, so I might oh, have yeah. to get on it soon. Yeah, cool. Yeah. It's, it's an eye-opening experience once you get started. I think it'd be pretty painful. Mm. I think, yeah, the hardest thing, well, is probably actually just getting started and knowing what you want to do. Because yeah. the problem is you get six hours of mm. footage or whatever, and you look at it, and you're like, <laughs> well... I got some footage here, and I got to do something with this to make this worthwhile people watching. Yeah, I need to make it my my terrible, terrible Famas frag movie of just like my Famas kill highlights and see. <laughs> That's a good idea. Because yeah. I've had, because I've, oh yeah, because I've had some outrageous, uh, some outrageous sessions with the Famas yeah. lately on Mirage, where I just like <laughs> you should like one tapping, a, one tapping a dude through the middle of smoke in a main as a CT, and then like another one where I just like was fully flashed and like got two headshots in the middle of my flash. And I was like, oh man, yeah. I'm, I'm totally toggling. You so, should um. You should change your Steam name to like Famasman01 or something like that. Like you know how they've all got all those specialist CS:GO accounts that just do like scout get play yeah. gameplay and things like Revolver yeah. only. Oh yeah. man, I hate those guys. Um, <laughs> the yeah, I think that's that's the challenge. Like when you've got like six hours of footage, and you're like, I need to make a ten minute video mm. from this like you know 
feel like there's always four hundred minutes of footage. There's always a voice in, in, in your head that's just like, Can I just upload the whole thing? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no one would watch that for um, sure. And like your prison architect series is going well, boys. I haven't watched any of it, I've got to admit, but like I imagine that's <laughs> I imagine that's sort of like it's a good experience Blowing to get endorsement. To try and cut that down because Prison Architects a pretty uh, time consuming game yeah. to get down to just the interesting bits. And it, it's it's a lot of like um I've I don't got, know I've, I've got a good prison going as well. Have you? That's another story. <laughs> another story for another day. Um, <laughs> I found that what I've found really fun about like this I haven't done very much, but it's just like sitting next to Luke and being like <laughs> Do that, do that, <laughs> do that. You're being like editor in chief, and yeah. I'm like the, the, the you're the grunt. And it's like really funny. Like every now and then, you like actually get a really funny scene that you manage to like pull together, and it's just like quite amusing. Well, then, let's not forget the the great uh, Instagram video that we've got of, of look slow fade and scream. Like I think that yeah. was, that was peak, peak <laughs> yeah. video editing. Yeah, a beautiful 16 seconds of um. Ah! <laughs> it is it is Wednesday, my dudes. <laughs> Um, we should uh, we should put in a little clip of that now. <laughs> <laughs> insert insert now. What? Something spooky happens. I can like zoom in on my face. Ah! Ah! <laughs> insert what the sound um, of the ah. Yeah. <laughs> um, no, any it's been good. I don't know. It's been funny like watching it's it all. Interesting the different styles you can do though. Like yeah. Like when, when I made the golf of your friends video, I kind of just sat. I went well. Let's see if we got anything mildly amusing here. So I just kind of sat down and watched it at two times speed, and anything I thought was mildly amusing, I just wrote the timestamp on my notepad. Oh yeah. Oh. And then and then went. So I basically just got through. I don't know. This might have been two hours with recording in an hour, right? Because yeah. I've watched it two times speed. Oh. And I've gone back. <laughs> I don't. Know, I don't know. It, it was a it was a slow Wednesday, is what it was. <laughs> that's, and, uh, that's what I said. <laughs> slow Wednesday, my dudes. I. <laughs> Ah! Um, yeah, I've, I do want to try and get into it with the editing stuff. I think it'd be fun, like, especially if I'm yeah. going to record all this stuff. I might as well actually do something with it. Um, yeah, I think... So two times speed's uh, probably a good way to go. Yeah, that's, that's what I did to cut some stuff down. The other option, what we, do, what we do for Prison Architect, at least, is we just go through anything that's kind of dull or a bit of a dead patch we just delete. Yeah. That's more or less. So we just keep stuff that's like... So you can kind of still follow the gameplay and watch what we do, but, like... You know, when we need something to build, and we just come back in five minutes' time, we just cut that out because there's kind of no point watching that because mm. there isn't anything there to watch. Fair yeah, enough. I get you. Hmm. Hmm. A little bit, um, maybe open borders for the podcast, but um, <laughs> Hugh, Hugh had a good idea the other day for the um, Prison Architect series. He was reckoning we should interject Prison Break episodes <laughs> <laughs> where we appoint someone to attempt to break out of the prison we're building. Yeah. And then, it, and then the prison has to be like built to the point that they can't get out. Oh, uh, that's a good idea. I would, mm. uh, I would fail terribly as that, seeing as I've had at least five occasions where I've had more than thirty prisoners escape my prison. <laughs> 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 I nice. keep, they keep digging tunnels, yeah, and then it doesn't, really al- it doesn't alert me until they're like twenty-five people deep yeah. in like escape, and I'm like. The only way you can stop that is by getting a lot of dog watch- dog handlers. To, like, and so I've been trying to do that, but. Oh. It's hard. It's very hard. Man. It's a hard game. Also, know. my prison is exceptionally large, and they always tunnel through. They always go like from one cell block and tunnel out this one wall, and then mm. like just outside the fence line. So, yeah, I mean, a... for a future kind of plug thing, I think we're looking at doing a video where we all try and accept the maximum intake of prisoners into this thing and just try and build the infrastructure yes. to support yeah. them all. Oh, have you not heard see, that? see who can last no, the longest. I'm, yeah, this is what they're doing. See who can I'm last doing. the longest. That it is, sounds pretty fun. That, but the the conditions because I because I, I haven't had a test run with this. So what I was thinking though is like when you do it, you gotta have a certain certain couple of rules just to make it a little bit harder. And we just do it all simultaneously until eventually you get your prison gets shut down or like you fail one of the criteria we set, I guess. Mm. And then whoever's last standing wins mm. with like their prison on fire probably. Oh, yeah, like prison's okay. Rioting. So we'll have we'll have three or f- we'll just have as many people as we want with the same settings. Yeah, yeah. And then we that's, just that's right. see who lasts the longest. We all start yeah. same time, same settings, same everything, same rules. Yeah. All and we same. go. Right. Ready, set, go. Cool. And we just record them. We just need a few PCs that would that be uh, actually And and the day you actually uh, do to do it. it. Yeah. Probably the yeah. Part, but how long do you reckon it'll take? I think I might uh, be able to get OBS. <laughs> how long do you think you can last? Uh, unfortunately, yeah, I think Jesse's got a good chance to last the longest, but um, yeah, that, that's the problem. It might, it might be a thing that we have to break into a couple of sessions. Yeah, um, yeah, I, can, I, yeah. Reckon I can tank it. might do two sessions, minutes. I reckon. It'll probably be two in the end, but that's um, right. or, or we set up some other parameters so that we don't have to do it all simultaneously. 
Um, yeah. That's the other alternative. But anyway, that's um, a... I think I can get OBS going on my laptop. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, you'll be fine. And you'll just record fine. the screen. Yep. Yeah, I mean, that's all we kind of need, right? Is Because I, I was kind of hoping when we set it up, we just record, like, everyone's audio. Mm. Um, like, if we were all in the same place, kind of recording it. Yeah. Then you yeah. just have one mic or a couple of mics and you'd be good to go, I reckon. And then but, we swap um, the scre- screens, screens through as we go. And yeah, you just change the perspective. Wow, just, yeah, that'll take a few change. guys to go through the, the, all, all of the like. Yeah. Or just set it up or, as a massive grid. <laughs> I mean, yeah. on yeah. Yeah. Screen, yeah. screen, yeah. screen, yeah. screen yeah. I mean, I want to do something similar with uh, Civ Five one day if we ever record that. But yeah, I don't know yeah. if that's going to be a thing or not. That'd be pretty epic. It's be our practice run. Except there won't be any fun for any of us because Peter's just going <laughs> to just, like, yeah, just bulldoze us all. Like in that one game where I played, Luke had never played before. He and uh, Peter decided to gang up against me, <laughs> and if it wasn't like that, Luke had to go somewhere. They were about five moves away from just raising me. Wow, yeah. So I was like, this it's sucks. My master diplomacy skills, not my war skills. <laughs> oh, man, that sucked. I don't anyway. think I particularly much military. I was just, um, just, no, you were, I was just happy to be there. I think I had one soldier dude that was like, yeah. And I was too busy looking at my economics, and then all of a sudden there was just like oh, you guys playing armies and mm-hmm. armies coming oh, against gosh. me. Yeah. It's, it's, a good, it's a good game. Um... Yes. Side note, Civ 6 is uh, on Humble Bundle for $12 now. Oh, yeah, oh, I saw looking it. Looking into um, that. Is it on the bundle, like the monthly? Six, nice. Yeah, um, monthly, this upcoming month. Oh, sick. Well, then I'll, uh, I'll get it then because I'm still signed up. I yeah. thought we should have a look at Northgard just while we're all here having um, um, Yeah, but it's like, it's similar to Civ apparently, but it's real time. Um, and you play as like a Nordic clan that's cool i kind of like that idea i prefer rts to, yeah. um, to turn based um seems pretty fun though it seems pretty like uh you know kind of treacherous and... bring back the lord of the rings rts games um that was the middle earth <laughs> i thought you would be interested oh, yeah. in it because of the whole um uh vikings oh yeah event that you went on for a little while right now um, <laughs> <laughs> that could be cool actually. tim's got it as well so maybe we can give it a go so northgard Watch this space. Maybe Ooh. we'll have a Northgard series. It's 25% off as well. It's cheap this weekend if we want to get it before Tuesday or Monday for us. Yeah. Um, yeah, but it's, uh, maybe let's chat about that one in a sec, guys. Yeah, yeah, for um, sure. Yeah. Any other, I guess, before we... Uh, we should have a chat about Before we close off, we could just yeah, chat about the Steam sale and, and any games we've been up to recently. Yeah. Because we have. I mean, like, we've, we've been playing some Overcooked. We got into Overcooked oh, yeah, over we Christmas did. and New Year's. That was really good fun. Um, Which is a... Uh, for those who don't know, uh, all two listeners that listen to our podcast, um, the uh, it's like a <laughs> cooking game where we sort of play as co-op. Yeah, yeah. Can you hear us, Peter? Just quickly. Uh, I, you've just come back now. So uh, good. Okay, you didn't, you didn't miss right. much. You fixed it. Um, cool, cool. All good. As you were. Yes. Yeah, so no, Sir? just just talking about Overcooked, which is uh, uh, that was pretty good fun. It got pretty hectic, but we we sort of got pretty uh, a pretty good flow going. For a while there, we were <laughs> yeah. just smashing our high scores. So um, that was pretty outrageous. Yeah, that, that, was that one hour we spent beating a one level. Oh yeah. my god! At like, at like one in the morning at Demo's house, <laughs> yeah. just like one more time. We got, we all got so sweaty. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and we had to. Sit. So it wasn't even that warm. <laughs> we um, didn't. Yeah, we didn't sit. We um, we had the controllers all plugged into the computer, so we had to sit so close to the screen, yeah. and we were all so sweaty and just like, <laughs> just like no, screaming at each other about like. Swearing. Oh my god! Yeah. Um, Don't put the pot there. Put the pot here. Yeah. <laughs> Don't throw all the onions on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> we should have recorded that. Actually, that was um. um we did record it. We I did. Mean, yeah. No, we mm-hmm. should make a little highlight reel. Watch this space. Watch out for all of our upcoming Dick Pep on Good Videos. <laughs> Maybe um, I'll take the raw files on that and make that into something. The, and we also, I, I, we bought um, Screen Cheat, which we hope to have a go at. There's a few other multiplayer games we want to probably yeah, try. Yeah, we played a little bit of Screen Cheat the other day and that was really fun. Um, I, have, I need to try. Yeah, yeah you, I, I bought it and you guys, uh, you guys played it. You bastards. Well, we've thanks, all got it now. So thanks to the know. invite, <laughs> champ. Um... um yeah, we've got. A, I guess we've got a few sort of bold plans for this year, don't we? We've got we've got some ambitious uh, ideas. We about do what have some to, projects. What we yeah, want to I mean, do with Dingo Bongo? I guess this year we're gonna boom. This is the um, maybe this is the year of the Dingo, and then we this is I guess the first podcast back from the new year. So I suppose mm. we should talk maybe just Let's for a couple of, of minutes about our, yeah. our plans coming up. But um, I guess focusing more on videos and like video content, and then we're gonna use the podcast just to kind of talk about how we're going. Mm. I think it'll be a mixture of 
mixture, mixture of how of we're going and then um, general topics that we find interesting. Yeah. Depending, yeah. What depending on how we're going with, with other commitments and stuff as well, we were sort of floating I, the idea of, of maybe splitting the podcast into a couple of different yeah. ones if we sort of maybe later in the year, depending on, on what else is happening. Yeah. But yeah, for I think now, for now, this will stay as it is for now for yeah. we'll record mm. episode every one to two weeks, depending on how we go. Yeah. Kind of. This is our, this our casual, yeah. no no real stress kind of podcast that we're doing for a bit of fun here. So yeah, yeah exactly. No stress for us. Happy... No stress for you, listener. <laughs> That's I mean, right. Uh, have you here. <laughs> I'm uh, I've got a pretty hectic sort of four or five months to start the year, so I'll uh, I'll try and be involved as much as I can because I don't I don't like missing out. I get major FOMO. So <laughs> yeah, but... no, we'll, we'll keep you in. Like we got a musical. Think... Spam a lot. I'll, uh, <laughs> and maybe I'll plug tickets in one of our. Yeah, <laughs> for sure. Um, hey. Maybe you should plug Digger Bongo and spam a lot. Yeah, I'll, I'll <laughs> do, oh, don't worry, it's, that's definitely on the card. Get on the stage once you've got a big Excellent. forum, by the way. Hey. We just, just need to just need to make sure that we've got um, enough of a body of work that I can show off before I start plugging it to people. Yeah. <laughs> we, need to, we need to like like, like pump out sponsor, the content. Get yeah. a get a logo on the back get of the. Do it on on the program. <laughs> oh my god, I'll actually. I want to think about that one. We'll that about could it. be hilarious. That'd be pretty cool. Um, that would actually be pretty random, funny. But funny. Be, be yeah. a great Instagram post as well if we upload a picture That's of it so actually. Good. Well, Luke yeah, and I, Luke and I have got what six months to uh, to earn some money from Dingo Bongos that we can claim back our computers on tax. <laughs> yeah. So, um, uh, the yeah. clock is the clock is well just... really ticking. We'll talk about this after this. We might. We, we <laughs> might... <laughs> Anyone, anyone want a uh, one of those like cork hats with the Dingo Bongo logo on it? <laughs> no, that's a cool idea. Yeah, very Australian. We might need a we might need to get our company registration anyway to try and get some um, sweet capital rollovers. <laughs> 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 yeah, do the computers count as like fringe benefits? Oh like, my god! Just... <laughs> All right, I'm ending the podcast, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for listening. Thanks for listening, guys. All Cheers, right, we'll guys. talk to you. Um, we'll talk to you all Cheers. in about a week. Bye. Bye. Some usual places. Bye. Oh, actually, hold on. We should probably <laughs> plug. Um, we should probably plug uh, Needle Nook quickly since we're doing the recording from the Needle Nook. Oh, absolutely. Um, oh, yeah, from the Highgate Needle Nook. Yeah, Highgate Needle Nook. Going on so we, what's the address? Shop three four fifty three Fulton Road, Highgate. You got that? Everyone, so, come say it again. Shop three. Shop three four fifty three Fulton Road, Fulton Road Highgate. Highgate. 5063. 5063, guys. Australia. Best All your needle needle store South in South Australia, the world. Australia. The world, the universe, the universe, <laughs> the known, the known galaxy. Love if we ever stream, it's because of them. So yeah, pretty much. And their sweet, sweet business NBA. <laughs> <laughs> Praise be to Malcolm Turnbull. And also just a lovely space, very it relaxing, is. high ceilings, lots of light, lots of wool. <laughs> make make sure you swing by, guys. Yeah, very cool. Um, all, right. all right. Anyway, see you all later, guys. Thanks for listening. Still let's out. Catch us later. We appreciate Catch your, your 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 audience ship. Keep, keep getting after it. <laughs> Always run. Always don't start. Always run. Don't start. Never, never, never start. Good luck.